I want to tell you about the exciting program for the abdominal aortic aneurysm coming up at Charing Cross Symposium in 2016. There never has been uh, a more exciting expectation than we've got this year. Um, two particularly new pieces of work I think will affect uh, guidelines potentially all over the world. This is because the, um, the four randomized controlled trials on endovascular aneurysm repair against open repair, that's the EVAR1 uh, in London, that is the DREAM trial based in Holland, the OVA trial in the United States, and the ACE trial in France. Data are being brought together through the friendship of the um, principal investigators. They have agreed that the data shall be merged together. Well, I'm happy to tell you that those data have been merged together and of course they're slightly different and it takes great skill to be able to do that. Unfortunately at Imperial College with Professor Janet Powell and uh, Pina Uluk it has been possible to merge these together. They are currently being analysed at Cambridge University by Dr Michael Sweeting and the results of this merged data will be given in the individual patient data meta-analysis at the Charing Cross. Um, the, those who've done the merging and the principal investigators will be speaking the results and that's the first time they'll be heard and we hope they'll be published at the same time. The individual patient data meta-analysis will tell us about the first part of the follow-up of this new novel uh, technique. Um, before EVA there was just open repair. Now we've had some 15 years experience of EVAR in randomized controlled trials and the EVAR1 trial, which was the first one out of the blocks, uh, will, uh, will have 15 year uh, data by the Cherry Cross Symposium and will be given for the first time. So would you believe it, the patients were average age of 74 years when they started the trial um, and there will be a very considerable age at the end of it and about half of the patients are alive. Just imagine how old some of those are. Perhaps we underestimate the length of time some of these patients would live and it is now time to analyse just how the novel technique of endovascular aneurysm repair has fared against open repair. And remember these are the first generation of devices um, I believe this will set the benchmark against which uh, we can compare more recent devices. It will tell us also with the individual patient data meta-analysis something about uh, the surveillance of endovascular repair over the years. The thoracic uh, aorta program at Charing Cross interests me considerably. Um, We've reached a time when the, it is possible to replace by endovascular techniques the whole of the aorta from the valve all the way down to the bifurcation of the abdominal aorta. Times are exciting. Devices are available. The question is, what is the mortality for these segments? What is the risk of spinal cord ischemia? And what is the risk of embolization to the brain? Um, we are going to be introducing an acute stroke challenge uh, section of uh, Chen Cross this time because of some embolization to the brain, which is with great regret occurring. And we are going to discuss how some of these emboli can be managed um, because we vascular surgeons and specialists are uh, causing some of that, although we don't want to. Um, Another, another very interesting question in the thoracic section of the aortic program is that of dissecting aneurysm. And it has been noticed for some time that in the presence of a thrombosed false lumen, uh, there is a superior prognosis in dissecting aneurysm. Of course, we need to understand very well the natural history, but some clinicians are therapeutically embolizing that false lumen in the hope that that um, 
introduction of, 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 of material and thrombosing that lumen will actually confer a better prognosis for the patient. But this is uncertain. Others think that that's the wrong way to go and devices should be used to uh, squash the false lumen and encourage the true lumen. And again, others are in favour of open surgery. At Charing Cross, all of these options will be discussed. We will take votes. I do hope you will be there to help us sort out this conundrum.